and welcome aboard the 1990 Jefferson 48 Riviana Sun Deck Motor Yacht. You've already seen a lot of the exterior, but I wanted to hop in here and give you a few details of the boat inside and out and a few little facts. Like most yacht names, the whole name of the boat pretty much explains the whole boat. So we have the 1990, which is the year, and then we have the Jefferson, which is who makes it. Uh, 48, that's usually either a 480 or some version of um, how long the boat is. So this boat is 48 feet. Um, if you want to get technical, it's 48 feet, 4 inches. Um, obviously, they're not going to put that in the name. And then usually some sort of name after that. So this is the Riviana, they call it. Um, the Riviana Sun Deck. Um, so we will get up later to a deck above us. Um, and it's exactly what it's for. A nice sun deck. And this one actually has um, a deck up there where you can drive from um, inside or outside, which I'll show you later. Now personally, um, I do think this is a pretty good bang for your buck type of boat. Um, it's not super new and it's also not super old. It's right in between where as long as it was well maintained, which this one has been for quite some time, um, you have a pretty functional boat for a pretty decent price. Uh, this one's being sold for around 120000 right now and it has a cabin in the front, a cabin in the rear, and um, both of those have bathrooms in there. It has a smaller kitchen with a dining room table to the side and then we are actually in the um, living room or if you uh, most call the, the salon on most yachts. Basically just very functional, um, not a lot of extra room that just doesn't get used um, and every part of the boat is very well designed including the exterior and the interior. As I mentioned earlier, I'll give you a few little facts, just details on the boat. It has a uh, roughly a 200 freshwater gallon capacity, a 600 gallon fuel capacity, and then um, 75 gallons as a holding tank. We have a beam or width of 16 feet. And we have a draft, which is how deep it sits in the water, of right at four feet. This uh, cruises at around 14 miles per hour and a rough top speed of somewhere around 19 or 20. So this is definitely a pleasure yacht. You're not getting anywhere too quickly. Um, it's got some good size and some good weight um, coming in at roughly 42,000 pounds, I believe, um, just to cruise around. Um, we are in Fort Lauderdale, so a nice easy trip down to Miami or the Keys, um, or you could hop on over to the Bahamas. That is pretty much it for all of the details and technical specifications of the yacht. So without further ado, let's get into the exterior and interior features. So these are the stairs over there to the far side where you would come in um, as shown on the video. And then you have the option to come right here in the salon. Um, and this is the couch that I was on earlier, giving you some technical specifications. And then towards the back of the boat, um, that's where the main cabin, the master cabin, um, would be towards the back or the aft, they call it. Like I said, I think this boat is done pretty well. There's a few little modern updates, like the couch that I'm sitting on right now. Um, this used to be a built-in couch, which is a little bit more bulky and probably outdated. And they have a nice TV set up as well um, to make it a little bit more modern. You also have your control panel down low with all of your breakers, um, your AC and radio control right there. And then over to the far side, um, like I said, usually if you're taking the boat out, it's generally going to be a nice day. Um, I know the couple that owns this boat, that's generally the only time they come out. So mainly you'll be driving from up top and not using the interior um, driving controls as often. So coming down the stairs headed towards the front, you have the dining area with a nice custom table that was made by the owner. It's got a uh, cool map of the world on it, so it goes right well with that nautical theme. And then over to your right, you have the kitchen area. Um, a smaller kitchen, but like I said before, I think it's designed very well, so it's very functional and no space goes unused. So like I said, as many people wouldn't expect, you do have a full refrigerator here, which obviously is uh, pretty new, it's all updated. Um, you have your full stove top with everything you need and a uh, full microwave. So again, all these things are obviously updated. 
and uh, probably a very interesting task to get in by the way. I think you do have to take a window out because um, I don't think these fit through the small door entryway that you saw earlier. And again behind me, um, very functional cabinets, um, some top space, many drawers for storage. You always need that while you're on the go because a lot of things while you're underway um, you can't keep out because that's going to fall. You'll learn all those things very quickly. And uh, again, your sink over here with even more storage in the back. Now headed in the forward cabin, this is going to be your guest or crew cabin, um, the smallest one out of the two. Um, we're not going to spend too much time in here as there is not much to show. Um, you do have a full queen bed. You have a little bit of room on the right and left as shown. And then obviously you have your full bathroom. Again, still not too much room, um, but it's all you need really. And here we're in the uh, rear master cabin, obviously the most space here. Um, we won't spend too much time in this area, but I will um, show you a little bit of video. But as the owners do still live aboard, we wanna respect their privacy. Um, just wanted to show you a little bit of the area though, size wise, um, to show how spacious it is um, as far as headroom um, and width around the bed. And now for the exterior, I'll take you through a little tour as if you were first getting on the boat. So obviously every boat is different and all boats have many different entry points. For this particular boat it is docked often and you are going to board from the back which I just showed you. It's going to be the easiest way and you're going to come straight into the back deck. This is a good lounge area. They have some updated furniture. Again little updates um, with newer furniture, electronics, things like that go a long way and update the look of the boat. This is a pretty sought after space, um, not common on a lot of older boats um, or a lot of boats in the 40 to 50 foot range. Um, people want an entertaining space that's kind of open like this. The next area that's gonna grab most people's attention is this front deck area. Again, a really good hangout and lounge area, uh, especially with some of the nicer cushions and um, things to lay out on. And the other area after boarding from the back is going to be the upper deck right here and that's where you're going to have all of your uh, steering and th throttle controls in addition to like I showed you before um, in the salon area you do have some controls down there um, but mainly you know when you're going to take it out like I said it's going to be nice days you're going to want to be up here um, outside enjoying the weather. Also while docking you have a pretty much 360 degree view up here you're going to have the best view of the dock any other boats coming your way, uh, people, or any other obstructions that may appear. This particular deck or bridge up here has a pretty cool configuration with plenty of seating, um, a nice L couch, and actually a little sink uh, if you need to clean anything up or use that.